Okay, good morning. Uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, the topic for today here is uh, transition. It's a very important uh, thing in soccer. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce my players. This is the Siena men's soccer team. Uh, good bunch of guys, as you see. This is, this is the way we would normally start practice every day. These guys would go out to the field even before I'm out there, and they would be doing you know, something like this every day. You know, just, uh, this is a fun activity for them. It gets them into the training session. Uh, as you notice, the ball is on the ground all the time. It's not a futsal, it's a regular ball. Our guys keep the ball on the ground, try to play as much as uh, possible. Before we get started, just wanted to tell you about April 8th. April 8th is going to be a very special uh, evening in the area. It's uh, uh, the two Division I teams, Siena College and U Albany, will play a game at 7 p.m. Uh, at U Albany. Uh, we haven't played in like three years, so you know that's that's going to be a pretty good event, and it's going to be preceded by uh, a game that's going to be billed as the the Battle of the Bridges, the Twin Bridges, which uh, will be the north of the bridge, south of the bridge, best best uh, players, uh, high school players from those areas playing against each other before that game. Uh, and we're looking to set up some sort of benefit as well to donate some money to a, to a charity. So we're, we're very excited about that. We're excited about the game and just, just getting that going once again. Anyway, back to the, uh, the task at hand. There's really three moments in a game. There's a, there's a moment where you have the ball. There's a moment when you don't have the ball. And there's a time in between. And today we're really going to focus on the time in between because it's crucial. It's when goals are scored. Goals are scored in transition. They're sc scored on counterattacks. And we're going to concentrate on what's done from the time the ball is lost to the time the ball has gotten back and uh, is gained, when, the time you gain possession again. And, and uh, we, uh, we, it's not going to be a training session per se, like the way I would run it every day, but it will be a collection of exercises that I think will be interesting to you. Uh, you may or may not have seen them before, but I think some of the corrections and some of the things that we're going to focus on, I think, will be will will serve uh, a, a purpose for you. All right, so we'll we'll get right into it right now. Uh, we'll get into what what the warm up is. So before, that's just guys. You know, the guys would normally start training that way, and then we, they would warm up, and then we would get into a warm up. So guys, if we can get into uh, pairs, all right, uh, one ball, please just spread across the gym. And we have our keepers involved today. Uh, normally, you know, our keepers will be with their goalkeeper coach. Sometimes I'll just, I'll want them for the purpose of, uh, of getting a point across. I'll want, want them involved in the session. So today they're going to be involved in the session for a lot of this. And uh, also the fact that we, we lost our uh, goalkeeper coach, uh, who became the new head coach at St. Rose, is... Uh, so they don't have a goalkeeper coach right now. <laughs> so they'll be in the session. All right, uh, fellas, uh, let's get uh, one guy juggling. All right, and let's just go back and forth. All right, let's just juggle a few times and then pass to the other guy. All right, so what we're going to work on here is the moment, the moment of losing the ball and the, and the moment of coming back to the ball. All right, so... We want to program our players to be switching on, on immediately every time. So, you know, right away we go into our theme and, and practice, all right? So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas of things that you can do in terms of giving your players fitness and giving your players touches on the ball and at the same time for them to be programmed to get right back on the ball after performing a task, all right? In the game... It would be maybe running back on defense or whatever. We'll, we'll get there. All right, fellas, so every time you don't have the ball, you're doing three push-ups. You're getting up, and you're asking for it after that. Go ahead. All right, so you'll see through this warm-up, there's really no reason to, for you to be running players without, without the ball, especially youth players. You know, they can be doing all kinds of fitness exercises with the ball at all times, developing their technique and at the same time gaining, gaining fitness. And you can change this up. You can do any variation of this exercise here, obviously, 
You can get as creative as you want to get. Guys, V-ups now, V-ups, three V-ups. So you see what we're training here, you know, there's a focus on the ball, right? And then all of a sudden there's a physical task and then it's back to the ball and you get without losing focus. There's a transition in play right now, even in the warm up, there's a transition from doing these exercises to getting back on the ball. Guys, jump lunges, three of them or four of them, four jump lunges. Okay, and, uh, and hold it up, guys. Rest a second. All right, I just want to demonstrate something to you that, that you can do along with this. You know, and we talk about fitness and, and fitting a lot of different things into a training session, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to juggle right here. Come here. I want you to do a, you're going to do a shuttle. So you're going to go to the foul line over there, touch, come back here, touch, go to the midfield, touch, come back, and then you juggle and he does it, okay? All right? Go ahead. You start juggling. Yeah, go. Okay, so here, here we go. Here's fitness with the ball. Here's transition. All right? And there he goes. And this guy's a little injured, so I shouldn't have used him, but anyway, he'll be all right. Okay. Oh, he's looking for a way out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. There was, there was a, a definite transition there, right? So there's a, there's a physical activity. There's a recovery aspect coming back as quickly as possible and then focus on the ball again, right? So that's, that's another example. So we, I just showed you right now four exercises that you can do uh, at the beginning of a training session that you can uh, get fitness out of it. And if you're going to do a transition uh, session, you know, you're switching right away from having the ball to not having the ball to having the ball and in between all the physical aspects of it, right? Any questions about any of that? Okay, good. All right, let's, let's move on here. All right, so let's go half the guys with the ball, half the guys without the ball. And we're going to be using the whole area now. Okay, and what I want you guys doing is I just want you dribbling around the gym and takeovers and passes with the guys without a ball. Let's go. Go. Just free movement, guys, just all around. All right, so this is still part of the warm-up. And now getting a little bit more into realistic play. So what's going to happen here is every time my assistant here Para Bascu, every time he blows the whistle, whoever doesn't have a ball is going to close down and is going to stay on a player with the ball. Okay, and, and keep passing, guys, and keep passing. Guys, make sure you're closing down on a player that did not pass you the ball. Find somebody, quick, find somebody, let's go. Rocco, there's still a free player. There you go. All right, so there you go. Identification of where the guys with the balls are. Closing down, staying on the player. Let's go once again.
And dribble again, dribble and pass, dribble and pass, takeovers. Okay, and look at the components that you can throw into this. All right, fellas, now every time you get the ball now, you receive the ball, I want you to do double scissors on it every time. All right, let's go. Let it go for a while. Receive the ball, double scissors. So here's a technical component that we're adding to it. Guys, Rivaldo, every time you get the ball, Rivaldo, every time you get it. Udo, she remember Rivaldo? Yeah. Every time you get the ball, let's do two Cruyffs, one with the right, one with the left. Double Cruyffed. All right, so there's three technical activities right there. And then closing down again. Here's the transition thing. Quickly, everybody has to find somebody. Let's go. Let's go. Stay on your man. Stay on your man. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. All right, guys, stretch whatever you need to stretch. All right, this is another opportunity. This is... Still the warm-up phase. Another opportunity for these guys to stretch out, to get themselves going. All right, in the meantime, any questions? Any questions so far? Anyone? No. Any observations? Anything? Any comments? No. Okay. All right, well, as you see, I mean, I think we're, you know, we're about 10 minutes into the session, which is what we want that warm-up to be. And these guys are pretty, you're pretty hot right now? Yeah, all right, they're, they're ready. They're ready to go. All right, they've got a lot of things going on here. They did a lot of different exercises. They did some running. They did uh, technical activities. And all within the theme of transition, right? So it's transitioning from having the ball to not having the ball, not having the ball to having the ball. And done very quickly. So we're trying to program them mentally to, to get into what's coming next. Okay, para wheel set. Okay, so we're going to go now. The next activity here is uh, something I stole from somebody a couple of years back. It's a guy that coaches with Shakhtar in Europe. He's, uh, he does this activity a lot, but it's, it's a very interesting one. You need, you need a server. All right, and we go 60, 62, four groups of uh, two, different colors. Let's go. So these guys are all going to be working with, in teams. And it's going to be six against two in this area right here. Every time somebody on their team loses the ball, they have to instantly go in and try to get the ball back. Okay? So they're working with their teammate only. Now here are the things that we want to see in this exercise. We want to see the two players try to recover the ball as quickly as possible. And you're going to keep hearing that theme throughout this session. Recovering the ball quickly, not letting the, the, the attacking team develop a rhythm or develop their, their correct spacing. So that's what we're looking for here. Every time, why don't we start with yellow in the middle. Every time you go in the middle, you want to get the ball back within the first few seconds, and you will see some guys get themselves in trouble and end up in there for like a minute. And believe me, these guys can keep somebody in there for a minute or longer, So especially once they start getting tired. So we want to see quick recovery here, transition right in and getting the ball back. All right, let's go. Play. Just play. <laughs> Guys, uh, make sure you're paying attention over there. Don't get hit. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, oh, oh. OK, 
Okay, so you might notice that even though guys are touching the ball and hitting the ball out, they're still in. And why is that? Because we want our guys to actually recover the ball. We want them to recover the ball, or we'll get them out of there if the other team just passes it out of bounds. If they make a mistake, you know, they're out of the middle. But otherwise, they're still in there. Okay, and let's hold it up a second, guys, rest. Okay, what do you think are some of the, the most important parts or components that, let's say yellow was in there, you know, they lost the ball, they go into the middle. What do you think are the most important components for them to get out of that middle, for them to win the, win the ball? Anybody? Any volunteers? Excuse me? Cut off the angle, okay? Start to read the game a little bit. Right? Just not, you can't just go in there and start running around like a chicken without a head. All right? you, have to, you have to start to make some educated <laughs> guesses about what's going to go on, on in there. Right? Where is the player's help? You know? So closing off. What are, what are some other things? What's, the, what's probably the most important thing, really? It's, I said it before, yeah? Communication, coordination. Okay, and what did I say before is really crucial? The transition. The transition being quick, to get in there as quickly as possible and pressure the ball, force a mistake, and then, and then once, if you pressure the ball, you're going to force something that the player on the ball is not comfortable with, right? So now all of a sudden, it's easier to read the game. It's easier to read. But the, the most important aspect is, go, is to go from losing the ball to getting in there as quickly as possible and getting it back. Okay? Thanks. All right, let's keep going. Notice when they win the ball, they play right into it. It keeps going. The game keep going, keeps going. That's transition the other way. Winning the ball, and now, now you're an attacking player. Now you have the ball on your feet. A lot of times when these type of games are played, you know, the game stops every time the two middle players win the ball. In this situation here, it just keeps going. We're asking those guys to win the ball and just play and keep playing. Once again, you know, there's four teams here basically, but it ends up being 6v2. Okay, and let's, let's hold it up, all right? I think you guys get the idea about this exercise here. Para, if you could please set up the next one very quickly. Para Bascu has uh, newly been promoted to my first assistant. He's a native of Barcelona, Spain. He was with us the last couple of years, but as a uh, volunteer, now he's, he's been bumped up. <laughs> All right, another variation here. You know, a lot of you may have seen this, you may not have seen this. We'll go a couple of minutes here. This is three teams, three different teams. Two teams always playing against one. So there's not nine players involved. Do we have the uh, 3v3v3? We're good? One more yellow. 
One more yellow over here. Para, we need 3v3v3 three 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 here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, play. Let's go. Yellow's in. All right, blue in. As you can see, everything that's happening in here is lightning fast. Everything is fast. The ball movement is fast. The pressure is fast. And it's pretty intense. It's a, it's a very hot area in there. And these guys get into it. They, get, they definitely get into it. I think intensity is probably the most important component in a training session. If you're going slow and you're going nice and easy, you're not getting anything out of it because the game is not going to be nice and easy. So in this game, you see how quickly transition, and the guys have to recognize who, who's in the middle. There's a lot of uh, visual recognition as well. They have to know what the colors are, who's in the middle, who's not in the middle, who are they playing with. Red's in. a second. Guys, relax. I was going to say get a drink. I don't know if we have any. Do you? Yeah, go get a drink if you brought your water. What do you think? Pretty intense? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think you hit it. Size is definitely the, the biggest factor here, right? You, you, you increase the space that they're playing, right? You give them more time. Time Time is related to, to, to space, you know. So bigger space for, you know, depending on the ability of the players, right? Um, you won't get anything out of this if you, if you have a very reduced space and you have players that are not technically adept enough, you know, you're not going to get anything out of it, really. So, you know, as you can see, everything goes back to technique. You know, everything goes back to that. You know, that's why it's something you can't ignore. Like before we're doing, you know, I showed you fitness with the ball, you know, and, you know, related to transition. You know, you can't just show up to practice and just have the guys run and expect that they're going to be able to handle the ball like that. You know, it's not going to happen. That's years of technique, 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 technique. Okay? And then with technique, you could do anything. As a coach, you could say, all right, this is what I want. I want this, 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 and this. Okay, these guys can do it. You know, without technique, you can't, you can't do much. Any other questions? Okay. Um, now you're going to see another exercise. We're going to go into another. And this exercise here, you know, starts to transition. It, it, it occupies a little more space and, and, and another component, which you saw in here, but there's not a lot of space in here, which is winning the ball and getting it out of pressure immediately. All right, so you're going to see that in this exercise. Um, and you're going to see a little bit more running. 
Okay, so I'll, I'll kind of let it develop a little bit and explain it, but basically it's 4v2, and it's 4v2 in two spaces. So you'll see it right now. Two guys over there. All right, we'll start off here, 4v2. Perry, you're going to serve here? Okay. All right, very simple. You start out four against two in here. The other two are over there. That's their lifeline. Yeah. Red is trying to win the ball and get it over to those guys over there. All right, Para, let's go. Play. <laughs> Notice right away, Two blues get over there. There's no real sequence as to who goes over there, and that's better that way. It's better that it's not assigned or anything. It's just whoever can get over there quickly gets over there. See, like red has to get over here and close down. The longer they don't get here, the longer blue is going to possess. Now this can go a couple of different ways. The coach can do what he's doing now, which is he's constantly switching play, or you can just keep waiting for these guys to win the ball. Para, let them win the ball now, okay? Marco, over here. Okay, guys, hold it up one second. All right, so how do we make this competitive now? So now we say 10 passes a goal. 10 passes a goal. Okay, so let's, let's play for 10 passes now. Go. Count them out, guys. Ten, that's one nothing red. Okay, guys, rest one second. Okay, what are we, what are we, what's the, the pattern that we're starting to notice here? When are teams in possession for a prolonged period of time? Anybody? The longer you get, take to get into that box and pressure, right? That's, that's definite, definite. What else? Quicker passing, that's right. Okay, passing out of pressure immediately, right? That's also creating, so the quicker you get the ball away from pressure here, the more passes you can complete without a lot of pressure on you. Does that make sense, right? So, so many times, you know, what do you see in a game? You see, you see a player win the ball and then immediately lose the ball. And usually, why does that happen? What was that? It's not fast enough. They're not moving the ball out of that area. 
So, you know, usually when the, wherever the ball is, there's going to be a crowd, right? There's going to be there's going to be supporting players and there's going to be defending players. Right? So you win the ball back. If you don't get it out of that space immediately, you know, you're going to probably lose it because it's going to be in a crowd there, right? So you want to get the ball quickly out of that space, play quickly. That's that's the offensive side of transition. On the defensive side, we want to, which we've been fo focusing a lot on right now in this session, is just getting the ball back, getting the ball back as quickly as possible. Uh, I think the guys have been pretty good with that. What, do you, what is it? One nothing. Uh, two nothing. Okay, play for one more minute. Let's go. Okay, guys, hold it up. Penny's off. Keepers, make sure you're ready. Para, please set up the, the two goals. All right, we're going to show you now transition and action across a, a larger space with goalkeepers involved and goals. Those activities, all those activities that we just did, what do you, who, do you think was, who do you think was the key player in that? Like, who was, who was really creating that... That uh, that intensity. Aside from the players, you know, I think I think it's the coach. You know, the coach is getting the ball in there. You know, he's he's talking to these guys. He's pushing them. He's urging them on. You know, normally I would be out there doing the same thing, and I'm talking to you instead today. But you know, so he's throwing the ball out there. You know, and the assistants are are, are, are vital in that. You know, and really getting getting guys in the right frame of mind, getting the ball in play, you know, no time in between, you know, eliminate the time in between because in the game, again, you know, transition kills, you know, one way or the other. So that's what we want to recreate here. All right, keepers, if you could get in the goal, please. Okay, and I'm going to show you an exercise that we do pretty often. Uh, let's go half the guys over there with, with balls, half the guys over, over there with balls on the side of the goal. We're going to do the best we can here with the space. Normally, we would do this in about 40 yards with goals, with you know, regular size goals. We're going to try it in here just to give you an idea. These guys can pull it off because technically they're good enough. Fellas, I'm going to ask you to keep the ball down. No goals over, over the knee. All right, so really keep, keep the ball down. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. It's going to be 1v1. And what's, what's going to happen in this exercise is player's going to come out, and he's going to go 1v1. One's, one guy's going to defend here. Okay, and what we're going to emphasize, hold it up, what we're going to emphasize is for this player to get out as quickly as possible and close him down. Because the closer he is to the goal, the more chance he has to score, right? You're going to hear the goalkeeper talking and coaching this player here a lot. So the first thing that JC is going to try to do here, he's going to try to figure out if it's, an op if it's an opponent, another team, right, and Let's say, you know, usually we have a scouting report, but, you know, when you're playing somebody in the CDYSL, you don't have a scouting report most of the time. So kids need to figure out in the first five minutes what's the deal, right? So this guy is a lefty, right? So he's, he figures out very quickly he's a lefty. So which way do you think he wants to push him? 
to the right. Okay, so he's going to take away that side, right? And these, we, you know, we coach all within this transition exercise. We're coaching. We're always coaching. We're coaching about, you know, stance and about taking things away. But we'll let it flow a little bit here. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go. Let's let's let it go, and I'll I'll run through it. Go ahead. Plays over. Okay, so what's going to happen now is JC is going to turn around. Mickey, you go over there. Mickey, you go over there. JC is going to turn around, get a new ball, turn, and now this guy's out immediately, okay? New ball, new ball, new ball. New ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. So notice, every, every player is getting the ball, has an opportunity to attack, and defend. So you see that guy just defended, he got a, he got a ball, he's turning, now he's an attacker. Okay, hold it up, hold it up, rest a second. So in this exercise, we're creating the transition. It's, it's almost like an artificial because we're giving them another ball. So, you know, but there's still that aspect of, of defending and then getting a new ball and now attacking, right? But we're, we're giving it to them. Later on, I'll show you how, you know, it's going to be more natural in a game and how we're going to push the transition component into in, into the game but in this exercise and you'll see how we play around with this so now so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a player all right so we're going to go two on one I'll go ahead close down and let's go get out get out get out get out play So notice now there's an extra player coming into the play now, so he's part of the transition now as well. Guys, try to keep it on the ground, under control. Okay, let's add 2v2 now. Let's add 2v2. Go ahead, play. Okay, 
Close down. Close down quickly. Close down. Alex, pay attention. <laughs> and hold it up. Hold it up, guys. Hold it up. Okay. All right. Comments, questions about this exercise. I would build this up until to, to 4v3, 4v4, 5v4 even, right? Notice there's no pennies. You gotta, these guys got to be focused. They got to pay attention. They got to... Remember who they're playing with, right? Um, you know, so as I said, we're really building the transition into it by putting a new ball in every, every time. New ball, yeah? Well, you know, part of that is, is physical development, you know? It's, it's, it's being able to be in control of your muscles, you know, in a lot of cases. Like, what you see in a lot of cases when kids just dive in and foul and stuff like that is is actually lack of strength you know lack of body control you know so those are all things that you know we should work into our sessions and as I said you know earlier you know we can work those things in in the beginning of practice you know and and uh still use the ball right you could do anything with those with those exercises okay so guys can we penny up half the guys here Okay, so you know now I'm going to show you how we would normally finish up this type of session. I mean, we would finish up with a regular game, but this would be the last activity, let's say. Now you're going to see a more natural progression of what we've been doing, a more natural approach to transition. Guys, be still behind the goal, still behind the goal. Okay, so I would say now, you know, we're going to play, let's say, to 30 points, right? And the value of the goals are as many players are, are on the field. So if, I'm, if we're playing 3v3, the goal is worth three points. If we're playing 1v1, it's worth one point and so on. Sometimes it'll be 5v5. Okay, so I'll just, out here, I'll randomly call out a number. So these teams will be playing. This gets pretty intense, by the way, okay? All right, so let's go uh, 3v3. This is a three-pointer right here. Hmm? Transition, there it is. How quickly? And stop, and stop. I just want to show you something. So yellow just lost, yellow just lost the ball. Actually, white lost the ball, but before that, yellow lost the ball, white got it. How quickly did yellow get the ball back? Pretty fast, right? The, what was the key reason that they got the ball back right away? Anybody? Excuse me? Well, yeah, there's, there's, there's a small space, but they, they went after it fast. They went after it. They didn't sit back. They went after the ball. All right, they got it back immediately, and then... The other part I wanted to show you was also like when white got the ball back right now, what did you notice about yellow? What did they do immediately aside from pressuring the ball? They got organized, exactly. They got their spacing. Look, they got right into their zones, okay? Now this guy can go and pressure there. And, me, and, and you know, these guys will drop off in here and they're, and they're in good shape, okay? And you'll hear our goalkeepers directing these guys constantly, right? All right, guys, off. 2v2. Usually we'll play until somebody scores. Okay, good. 1v1. 1v1. See, that guy didn't get far out enough. Keep playing. Still playing. Counter. Be careful, be careful. Good. There you go. 2v2. 2v2.
Here's the moment. Here's the moment. The other team gets the ball. Look how quickly organized these guys are. And there you go. And they win the ball back in a crucial area. Boom, goal. Okay? So there it is. There, there's, there's transition right there. Right there. Go 2v2. Don't follow him. Transition, quick. Counter, counter, counter. Let's go. And hold it up. What do, what do you guys think White could have done better on that play? They could have gotten out quicker, okay? Goalkeeper gets the ball, bang, shoots it out, and they go. Okay, this is, this is not, you know, a, a game where we're going to be respectful of these guys and say, hey, guys, we're going to wait for you to get back and make things fair. No, okay? They're down. You step over them. All right? you, go, you go and you score. Play. Okay, play. Counter, counter, quick. Counter. Good recovery, good recovery. Good defending. And stop. Just in that, look how tired these guys are, first of all. Okay, but the reason they're tired is because they don't let anything go. You know, when they get the ball, they look and attack. When they lose the ball, they're immediately pressuring. That's the expectation on this team. Okay, what you're seeing here, this is not fabricated. We can't just come here for an hour and, and just make this stuff up. You know, and say, hey, guys, let's put on a good show. You know, let's, let's fake them all out. Let's make them think that, you know, we, we're really hard workers. No, this is what happens every time we step on the field. It's a culture. It's a culture. And that, that's the culture that you need to get into your teams. The, the, you know, the culture of, of really working hard. Every, that's got to be the given. That's, that's the given, you know, coming out and working every time. Okay? But obviously, you know, we, into that, we want to throw in the, all these different components of the game. And this is really the way we build them up. We take them from, from simple to complex. You know, this obviously is moving fast, so it becomes complex. It looks chaotic at, at times. And the reason it's chaotic is because guys are playing hard and closing down and not letting the other team play and not giving anything, any advantages. You don't see any advantages out here. When someone scores, it's because they really did something special. You know, and that, that's, that's what really what we're trying to emphasize here today. Okay. I think, uh, I think we're out of time here, right? Oh, we got five minutes. Good. Okay. Any questions? Any questions before we keep going? Two minutes. Okay. Let's play a little bit more. What do you guys want to see? 8v8? <laughs> Battle Royale? <laughs> All right, let's go 4v4. Go. Okay, that guy has a good shot. <laughs> All right, let's go 2v2. All right, and I, I just want to make one more, one more correction here before we keep going. Go back. Same guys. Same guys. Okay, so these guys were pressing up. White was pressing up. Give them the ball back, right? And what happens? Who took a shot? Okay, you took a shot. Make the save. Go ahead. Okay, you were over here somewhere. Okay, and here's my, here, here would be my problem with this play right here. You see that space over there? That's gold. That's gold. And this guy was here asking for the ball here. 
Okay, I would want this guy, I would want him to pick up his head, and I want you to go into that space and look for that. Okay, so go. Go. And, you know, all right, so let's say he closes down. Look at how much, now, now he creates space for, to play. Right? But you got to look for it. You got to look for the easy, the easy opportunity first. All right, play. Counter, counter. Let's go, Josh. Okay, let me show you one last thing since we have 30 seconds left. Since we have 30 seconds left, all right? So let's go 3v3 in here. No, stay 2v2, okay? Let's get uh, two guys on the ends over there. Two guys from white on the ends over here on the sides of the goal, okay? All right, so I'm going to I'm going to show you one more activity that you could use as a counter. All right, so here's the game. You cannot score unless you get a pass from those guys over there and it's got to be a one-time finish. Okay, yellow, you have the ball. Ready? Play. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Counter, counter. There you go. Get there. Ay ay ay. Quickly. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, and hold it up. Everybody see that? I know we're running out of time, but so that, you know, that's, that's the last thing I threw in there that you can use as well. Put, put players, put bumpers on the ends. This way you, you can push the ball forward and then support play. All right, that's a yet another way to develop transition. Okay? Um, once again, I just want to remind you, April 8th, April 8th, 7 o'clock, two Division I teams in the area, Siena College, U Albany, playing a game. All right, we'd like to see you there. It would be fantastic to see these guys. Excuse me? U Albany, at U Albany. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. All right, give these guys a hand. They were tremendous. All right, thank you for being here and uh, have fun today. Take care.